I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering, Espa, what the hell is going on over here? Let me explain. First things first. Nice. Secondly, Fanta Apple aluminum can that you can find only at 7-Elevens and not all 7-Elevens. So if you ever find yourself here in Japan, Tokyo, make sure to pick one up, find one, search for it. These things are amazing. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We got a lot to do. We're on a tight schedule today. We're meeting up with Ken Saito with his Aston Martin DBS Superleggera Volante. Yeah, expensive car, nice color. Anyways, we're taking the S600 with the $12,000 exhaust. I know you guys are tired of those titles, but I'm telling you, sometimes the algorithm likes to pick up on it and promote those videos to people who don't know about the car. So please bear with me. A lot of you have been asking me, F-Spot, how the hell do you have two cars in central Tokyo? What are the operating costs? What's it like to drive in Japan? What are the tolls like? Gas prices, insurance. So we'll be discussing the operational costs and the logistics of having two cars in Japan, but I'll give you guys the biggest tip of all. Make sure you have good friends who are willing to park your cars in their driveways when you're not in town. Many thanks to Ken, Toshi, Kaz, Andre for basically playing musical chairs with all my cars. Let's go meet up with Ken, get the S600, and I'll show you guys exactly how much it costs to do a day trip that is around 200 kilometers. I already know the amount of miles because I'm too lazy to convert it for you Americans. Figure it out, let's roll. Looks like it snowed for a couple hours here in Tokyo. The snow is slowly melting and it is still a little rainy, a little sleet, so to speak. We put the tarp over the S-Class, mainly because last time we drove this thing in heavy rains, it kind of damaged a few electrical circuits. So I put the tarp over as a precautionary measure, but you're not really supposed to do this on the streets of Tokyo, so to speak. But like I mentioned in my other video, Parking is free on Sundays, and parking is usually free after a certain time overnight on the weekdays up until 9 a.m. the next day. So move your car by 9, 9 a.m. on the weekdays, you should be good to go. Here we go, guys. We're going to the toll gate here on my right, and I'll be paying in cash because I do not have an ETC card, and we are headed to Hakone. Just like that, 1,320 yen. We just passed by another toll gate here. We got a little ticket here. And we will see exactly how much this costs to the Ibina stop area, which is around 20 kilometers out. Check this out, we got the whole squad here. We got Andre, we got Ken in the Aston Martin DBS Super Leggera Volante. What a goddamn long line. We got the S-Class, we got Kaz's Citroen over here. We're headed to Hakone. Oh yeah, look at this moto dog. There we go, 1300 yen. We're clocking at around 2620 total. God damn it, that's just one way. That's just one way, by the way, guys. One way. Hey, I Fourth toll gate in the past 45 minutes. That's right, boys and girls. We got another toll gate here. Color me surprised. 730 yen for regular cars and 550 for two wheelers or motorcycles, I think so. All right, guys, we're just taking a couple photos with the Aston Martin with the top dropped cherry blossoms in full bloom. We got a, uh, a sneaky Subaru there just awaiting a Challenger. Mm. Mm. Negative space? What's going on over here? What's can side on? It's got like a dark suit. No, because he wants like no space like under the car. Like, the space oh, so he wants a lot of the the cherry blossoms up there. Ooh! <laughs> All right, Ken's up here. Take two. We're having some issues getting this bizarre self-portrait. So, guys, as low as you can go. Holy shit, Jesus! What the fuck is this? <laughs> This car sounds like sometimes a goddamn elephant. It's a little bit foggy here, guys, at the Hokone Pass. Now, OG, mega OG subscribers will remember this spot from either three, three and a half years ago, I believe. This is the spot where Alex Penfo got pulled over by the police and had to go all the way down to the police booth down there, get a copy of his passport. Look at this. Woo! This is sick. Look at this, we found a friend. 
with a Powerpuff girl, Mio, on the Sylvia. Oh yeah, double trouble. We're gonna have someone hop in the trunk of Kaz's C2 here. Get some roller shots, baby. Oh yeah, gotta get those rollers, son. There we go. We're gonna give the S-Class a quick little break here. We're gonna hop in Kaz's Citroen C2. Do a little uh, Max Showstack Canyon Carbon. Ooh, yoink. Ah. Ken's still behind us in hot pursuit. Oh. see the cherry blossoms up there but it is quite dark here only a couple cars here taking photos time to roll out baby all right well another toll exiting Hakone more tolls Currently here at a restaurant. This guy's got an owl. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's oh, crazy. Oh, he's got an owl. <laughs> oh, where's your owl, Ken? Where's your, where's your cow? Hmm. So we're currently inside one of the rest stops. It's the Ibina rest stop here, midway from Hakone to Tokyo. Look at all these little goodies. Uh, Ice cream, you got vending machines, you got vendors, all sorts of knickknacks. To my left, to my right, up, down, you got fucking owls too, man. It's all pretty standard stuff here. Yeah. This is the dine-in restaurant. We got a food court on the other side here on the second floor. Oh yeah. We're currently here at the Pokemon machine. What do we got? What do we got? Show me the money. Oh, get my little receipt here. Why does it take 15 seconds to dispense my uh, my prize? Ooh, that's fucking sick, son. Are you kidding me? Hold on. Oh, Kevin, pop us. Anyways, let's open up this uh, Pokemon box. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> They'll look good in the middle, though. Yeah, that's true. Eleven dollars, guys, at the Pokemon machine. This is a nice little squad. Cats had to go home. We just stopped at the rest stop here. Got myself a little Pokemon. Man, looking good. This car's color is my favorite aspect of this car. This color is insane. You can't really see it, but in the light, it sparkles. Mmm. Almost like diamond dust without paying the extra premium. But we're going to head over to our buddy Toshi's place. We're going to swap out the S600 with the Toyota Century, which I don't think I've even driven in the past week and a half, I believe. So, let's roll in, roll out. Oh, times have changed. Ah, oh, look at that. That's a sad sight to see at the Mercedes-Benz AMG uh, store here in Nihonbashi, or is it Ginza? Either one, yikes. Mercedes, what happened? Stop diluting your damn brand. We are currently at around a quarter tank right there, as you can see on my left gauge. So I spent around a quarter tank. Now we're at Toshi's place, who has been kind enough to let me park my Century at his house here. Uh, we're gonna do a little switcheroo. We got the Aston Martin, we got Mr. Sheep, we got Andre, we got Kaz. Uh, they're assisting me in pulling out the Century. And it looks like there's a bunch of cherry blossoms on the car. Anyways, so this is some baller ass shit, man. I never had so much, oh my goodness. Look, it's, you can barely see, but there's a lot of petals on the car. Mmm, V12 goodness. You can sort of see it, it was, it was snowing a little bit earlier. There's a bunch of snow and flower petals over the damn car. So, yeesh, from one car to another, baby. Woo. How do I quite put this? I feel more confident, and I feel like this car is not gonna blow up on me, so. Oh yeah. Currently here at a gas station here in central Tokyo with the Aston Martin DBS 
Super Legera Volante. Now, gas right now is at a whopping, I think, the 137 for premium. That works out to around a dollar twenty-five, dollar twenty, I believe, per liter. So, this is another issue with having a car here. Gas in Japan is not the cheapest, but at 137, it's pretty nice. What the? <laughs> keep you entertained when you fill up your car. <laughs> so, half a tank, 4,500 yen. That's around 40 bucks. I can 32. Live with that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. 32 <laughs> liters. And we believe it's a 70 liter tank. So, granted, oil prices as of today are extremely low. There she is, the V12 Century, man, with the brilliant exhaust. We got a bunch of petals from the cherry blossoms that I just wiped down after 15 minutes of just frantic wiping but my goodness this thing is looking pretty damn sharp and uh yeah we're parking right next to my hotel i'll update you guys on how much this parking spot costs for the next i think 10 to 12 hours so oh my goodness it is definitely expensive to own a car here in central tokyo it is the am here we are spot number nine with the toyota century we're gonna be meeting with ken at the car wash let's go see how much this sucker costs for the past 12 to 13 hours. Here we go. 3,400 yen. Goddamn. Oof. Hello. This car too has a built-in ETC car reader right over there in this little uh, cubby hole on my armrest here. But man, driving this car is just silky smooth, super buttery, very easy. The steering is much, much more responsive and more lax than the S600. But yeah, the interior as well is very, very plush. And of course, the CEO power seat, no one's in the back there watching Teenage Climax Volume 17, except for Mr. Shi. But it's gonna be back in this car. We got the dash cam, we got the rear view camera, a lot of amenities that the S600 does not have. And of course, this car commands immense respect. All right, Ken just clean the DBS Supra Legera Volante. I'm telling you guys, this color is pretty hot. We're gonna do a quick lap around Tokyo before returning this car. Holy fuck! What the? Oh my. Sounds like the world's on fire. Good. So we got a little bit Shake Shack to go here. Check this out. The to-go bag is so neat. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wait, what do you get? Hot dog. Oh, oh nice. Dude, I haven't had American, proper American food in a while. We got the uh, chicken sandwich from Shake Shack. We got a Nissan R35 GTR just rolling out. Ken's gone back to get some ketchup on his hot dog. Mm. It's probably like the most douchiest thing ever. So we got Ken here. He was using his ETC card in the century a couple days ago. So we're gonna be tallying up the tolls, which you can do on the infotainment screen right over there. And so we're basically tallying up four days worth of tolls here. And the amount that I'm looking at from my viewfinder is not very nice. <sighs> All right, Ken, what do we got? We got 11,890 yen. Oh, it's not focusing, it's focusing on the Aston. There it is. Basically 12,000 yen, which is around 110 US dollars, give or take. Guys, driving in Japan, in Tokyo, is very expensive. This is another example of the, the logistics and the cost, running cost of having not one, but two cars. 12 stacks, cash is king in the land of the rising sun. Is that actually... A, yeah. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Very good. Yeah, in the land of the rising... I like that. Yeah. Here we go, here's 12,000 yen, thank you very much. Here's my change. Oh my fucking... What the fuck is this? Oh, your claw machines. Damn it! All right, that's one go at the claw machines. But yeah, like I said, tolls in Japan are extremely expensive. It's even more expensive without the ETC card, so get yourself one if you can. All right, guys. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to the Aston Martin DBS Superleger Volante. Final startup. Let's hear it. Let's go. I like the burble. I like the little pops this thing makes. This thing is a hot looking car in this color. If you got like a poverty spec, like white one or a black one or just something really boring, forget it. But this color, 
Very nice. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the CEO power seat here in the Toyota Century with the Breeling Exhaust, $18,000. Don't you ever forget that, guys. But that being said, well, welcome. We are in absolute comfort, maximum luxury. We got to talk a few things, guys, because owning a car or two in Japan, let alone Tokyo, in central Tokyo, is very expensive. So, as you saw yesterday, we went to look at some cherry blossoms at Hakone. Uh, had a lot of fun. Got some pretty sick photos. But, look at this. Look at all this right over here. These are receipts for all the tows that I had to pay without the ETC card. Now, I've already done you guys a favor. I've actually calculated the amount on my phone here. 7,080 yen to go from my hotel to Hakone and back without an ETC car costs around, let's do some math here, 65 US dollars. Now I used around 25 liters of petrol or gas yesterday with today's exchange rate and the current price of oil and gas that runs out to around 32 US dollars. So plus that, $97.55 just to do a day trip to Hakone. Uh, this doesn't even include insurance. This doesn't even include the parking. 100 US dollars, guys, to just do a little day trip from my hotel to Hakone, back on the freeway, do a little twisties to die Kaku and Tatsumi and back. Ah, it adds up, guys. It really does add up. And if you include the parking that I mentioned or that I filmed earlier, that costs around what, 3,400 or so yen? That's around 31, 32 US dollars. You're looking at $130 in a span of less than 24 hours of one little day trip plus the parking overnight. So those are the running costs of having just one car. Imagine if we brought both cars to uh, Hakone and back. Double the fun, double the price. Anyways, enough about that. Let's go. We got Mr. Sheep, our chauffeur, waiting to roll out. 